Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Alma, Missouri. We are beginning of July. It's actually uh, near two, the second day of July, I believe, um, out of a three-day month. We have a few changes. I've been playing offline. Did a few things. Uh, I'll show you guys. Uh, we have three fields that need to be harvested. I sold some equipment. I bought some newer equipment. It was just time to uh, make a few changes here and there. Nothing too dramatic. I think you guys will like it. I did end up putting up a bigger shed here. Not a big deal. I ended up uh, doing quite a few contracts. As you can see, I do not have a lot of cash in there and as you can see in front of us here I've got a new gleaner now when this combine came out I was kind of hesitant but I could tell you one thing this is an amazing mod Sid Modding did a fantastic job on this thing and of course I had to go ahead and implement it into uh, what I was doing Can't really get inside there like this. But, you know, we can pretend. Uh, we do have a few fields, like I said, need to be harvested. We have two barley fields and one wheat field that is ready to go. Let's go ahead. We'll hook up the header here. Just trying to uh, keep everything rolling. This is an amazing combine. We did have, I believe it was an L series. My uncle Kenny had one a long, long, long time ago. Hey, the first thing I want to do is, is I want to harvest this wheat field that's over here. I'll probably end up dropping the straw and uh, we'll end up bailing that. I am not even close to being straight. So how have you guys been doing? Um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the other series. I know the Eiffel has been doing pretty well. Uh, it's a little bit different for everybody just because they're not used to watching me play the European style maps. Uh, I don't want to give up on these maps though either, you know. Um, if I can get that mirror a little bit better. Nah, I folded it. I don't want to do that. Okay. Alright, I'm still learning the combine here. We've got those bales that I want to sell still. I want to get rid of those. Still have the same tractors. I ended up, somehow, I lost the case, the international that I had. And I just replaced it with the Alice Chalmers right now. I'm not going to be really doing much of anything other than harvesting at this point. So this episode is uh, getting some of this stuff taken care of. Let's go ahead, we're going to give this a shot here. A little bit of belt squeal in there, you got to love that. shut that off because we're actually going to bale this field here moisture is actually really pretty high but I can throw it in the bin and uh, kind of throw it in the bin and we can dry it down just a little bit I got my header height pretty good here just a little bit more alright yeah, the moisture is a little bit high, so we're going to wait until a little bit later on today. i got to let this field dry down just a little bit. Um, what I can do is uh, I can go ahead and moisture see. The moisture is way too high. It's at 29, 28%, so we'll just go ahead and we'll let it uh, advance time just a bit. Just kind of speed that up some, but in the meantime, We'll go ahead and we'll take these straw bales in and we'll sell them. Make a little bit of extra cash off of those. It's about time to get rid of that stuff anyway. Just 
jumped into the 14 here. We're just going to take this into town. No need in grabbing the truck. The truck hasn't been running very good anyway. So, uh, see, I'll just take this one right now and then I'll grab the other two in a minute. Put this up here. Trying to do a lot of stuff now outside of the cab for you guys so that everybody can see a little bit better. I know it gets kind of annoying just to see me inside the cab all the time. I am thinking about knocking that uh, cow farm down and putting up a hog barn. Not too sure if I want to do that or do I just get rid of the horse farm over there. That's an option for the farm, but right now, uh, obviously, the money is just not there. Looks like there's a lot of fields here that are ready to go. I know this field over here that we have. This one, let me check the moisture while we're here just to see what it is. Well, the moisture in this field is absolutely no better. It's 29.4%, so yeah, we'll just let it dry down. I guess we'll have to wait just a little bit. On a side note, hopefully you guys are getting a little bit more pumped up for FS25. I know a few friends of mine, they're going to be waiting. Uh, they'll still keep playing FS22 for a little while, just to wait until the maps and stuff are starting to roll out. I know the modders have been working really hard and kind of watching the Giants Discord, listening to everybody talk about stuff. Gonna go ahead, let's let's just go ahead and drop this stuff off. We'll make a little bit of cash. Probably not gonna make too much, but at least we can make something out of it. Well, unloaded those bales and it was like five thousand dollars. Not too bad. At least gave me a little bit. So gotta kinda get what I can right now. So I'm still waiting for the fields to dry down. So hopefully by the time I bring those other trailers over here, we'll be good to go. I don't know if they're going to be building something there or what they're doing. That lot's been empty for quite some time. They don't get hit by a train because the 14 is really not exactly the fastest tractor on the planet here. Don't get me wrong. I love driving the equipment. Man. Nothing worse than driving one of these through town with the plow on the back end of it because you got to worry about the back end of the plow because it sticks out not too much further than the tractor, but it depends on how long the plow is. So you're not going to be dragging a 12 bottom plow through town. You're going to take up the whole road. You're basically hugging every mailbox that you possibly can. So let's get this back to the farm. We're going to pick up those other trailers. Uh, looks like the farmer over here has got his cattle out. Enjoying the warm summer day. Beautiful 80 degrees outside. Good day to do some harvesting, so I'm hoping that uh, everything dries down pretty quick. I'd like to kind of get in the fields at least by 1 o'clock. But I guess we'll see. Humidity is going to play a big part of that. At least I made it back to the farm with that trailer. Now we're going to all these two trailers at the same time you know you can't really go too fast with these types of trailers because they get kind of squirrely uh, we'll give it a shot I think I still have both trailers on there right? yeah. okay. let's just get rid of these things it's been kind of an eyesore and I still have that other trailer over there it has some on it I might just leave that one there yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys are thinking about. Uh, should I knock down the cow farm and make it a uh, hog barn? Or do you think that I should take the horse barn out? I'm really not going to be using it for anything. But I really don't do animals, really. But I've only done horses a couple times. But really no money in the horses anyway so I just wonder maybe I should just knock that one down and put up a uh, hog enclosure 
Well, it's going to be another fun trip back into town. Hopefully by the time I get back, uh, it'll at least somewhat be a little bit drier out. I guess we could check the other field, the oat field over here, and check the moisture on that one. Hopefully it'll dry down enough to the point to where we can get in the field. And I can tell you one thing, the people in this town, they just do not drive very well. Almost like, um, it's, it's, uh, it's AI, hey, they, they just don't care. They just don't care. Hopefully this time I won't blow past the animal dealership here like I did the last time. Hopefully I can swing all of these trailers in here. Try to unload this stuff. Be a bit of a chore, I think. Not too sure if I'm going to be able to get these in here or am I going to have to disconnect one of the trailers. Kind of tight. Maybe if I swing it wide enough, I'll be able to get in here somehow. I'm sure they're not going to be too thrilled about me driving through the grass, but I think I'm probably the least of their worries. All right, so I'm kind of kind of cheating just a little bit. So I got rid of all the bales. But that was what? Uh, so it was a total of probably about $7,000 couple more bales that are sitting there. I don't know why they didn't sell, so. Oh, lady, hey, lady, hey, hey, hey. Hey, they're cutting in front of me like that. I gotta go over there and grab those bales. Gotta get some cash here. I'll just leave the tractor here. That'll annoy some people coming into town. No idea why that didn't sell. been just enough off of that trigger. There we go. It's a pretty big trigger too, so I don't know why. Yeah, that's the lady that like walked right in front of the trailer. Not too smart. Not very smart at all. So, all right, let's get back to the farm and see if we can actually get in the field and do some work. Well, apparently I had a few stray bales that, uh, Apparently I lost, fell off of the trailer, and at least they fell off around the house instead of out on the road. And there's another one. Man, there's some bales all over the place. That's the problem with those other bale trailers, they just, they're too full. You'll lose stuff. Lights off here. All right, let's go and check and see what the moisture is doing over here. I really want to get harvesting. Let's see, we are at now we're 28% now, so it's getting better. Not quite good enough. Well, right now the moisture is down to 27%, so we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to throw it in the dryer anyway. Um, I'm not going to sell it right away. It's all going to depend on prices. Um, it's not really a dryer. I'll just turn the fans on in the bin. So, but this is an amazing machine, guys. I don't know if uh, I'm sure you guys have had a chance have uh, already downloaded it but I'm really liking this thing and I know a buddy of mine Kevin there he's uh, he's really loving it he's been waiting for this thing to come out for quite some time talking to him the other day and he's uh, he lives down there in Florida and for all you guys that live down in that area that are affected by that hurricane I really hope that you guys are doing all right know that we are right now dealing with the aftermath of what you guys had and we, we've got winds that are about 50 60 miles an hour so we get some pretty good gusts here and there this weekend's going to be probably about the same unfortunately it's going to be cloudy so that's not really going to help us very much to dry anything out but we will definitely keep our fingers crossed 
You know, I'm loving the cooler temperatures after we had a few warm days, but nothing really too bad. All right, well, at least we get to do some harvest in here. Uh, that's right, I wanted to do a lot of... Oh, no. Yep, I just did that. I just did that. I just hit the wrong button. I did. I hit the wrong button. Ah, well. Super real. Try this again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, one thing's for sure, though. The, uh, this combine is pretty loud. So, there's a few glitches here and there with it. I don't know if he knows about it, but all of a sudden, my back doors will just fly open. It's kind of shit. It's kind of comical, actually, but, uh, you know, with the, uh, being a new mod and stuff, I'm sure that he'll have a few, a few updates to make here and there. Get some of this stuff off. That right now. stuff up. I gotta go over and I have to move the auger over to the other bin. I have to see about possibly selling some stuff. Because I've only got the three bins over there and I have four different crop lights. Unless I put up another bin. really don't have money to do that. Love to eventually put up a little bit of a bigger grain site, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is just uh, old style farming, except for the gleaner, of course. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to implement it into at least one of my series. So I am playing Nebraska. That's a four times map. I'm using it on there, but I'm really not going to be doing a series on that. I'm just using that as a kind of a free play thing. I know I'm almost full here, so hopefully I make it to the top of the hill where I can just bring the grain carts over here and just unload them here at the top. But I don't know if I'm going to make it. So, hopefully we'll be close. Uh, didn't make it. Didn't make it. Ah, uh, just bring it over here. Don't do too much damage to my crops anyway. We're going to jump in the Al Shelmers and we'll get this thing unloaded. Yeah, I'll have to move that conveyor over to the other bin. Let me see what the prices are. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they're not going to be good because this is the middle of summer and highest prices are going to be definitely in the fall. Go ahead and we'll unload this combine first. While it's doing that, I'll go ahead and check some of the prices of everything. I'm going to see if I can hold on to the wheat for another month. August and September are pretty high prices. I think that's what we'll just end up doing. Let's just try to hold on to it. We'll just put it in the bin for a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'll just do a little bit of a video montage for you guys.
Alright, well, that's probably just about do it for this field here. Of course, you know, the, the moisture is going to be at its lowest at this time of the day, right? Go figure. But we're done here. It's getting kind of dark out. Let's go ahead and we'll unload this. I know the combine's a little bit loud. I'm going to have to adjust that volume on that thing. It is a little excessive. I'm just going to jump in the cab because it's a little bit quieter here. Um, I'm going to have to adjust those volume levels for sure. Turn this combine down. Alright, I ended up turning the uh, volume down on the vehicle there. The combine is just... Uh, I just have to adjust the levels, that's all for the combine. That's all. No big deal. Go ahead, we'll just unload this, get everything back up to the barn. Put everything away for the night and then uh, we'll come back in the morning and get ready to do probably just a little bit of a uh, little bit more harvesting not too sure but let me unload this stuff and i will see you guys all in the morning all right well that's another day i've got the combine set up we moved it over last night before we went to bed that's all set up and ready to go down here at the next field. Um, we did end up putting up a new silo. I went and did that. Got a small loan so that I could get the silo. But um, it'll help. At least I got some place to store. Another crop type, which is a good thing. Yeah, I come over here and get the gleaner well warmed up and we'll uh, get this day started um, I'm not too sure what the moisture is right now moisture right now is at 19.9 percent so everything should be good so I should be ready to go well, that's a good thing I won't have to uh, turn the fans on or anything so go ahead all that up not mistaken there we go close that side panel all right we should be good to go do a quick little cut in here god i had to make an adjustment on my settings that was my fault all right we'll go ahead we'll open this field up first So hopefully you guys have uh, been enjoying the episode. I know that um, the older equipment seems to be going over pretty well with everybody and hopefully with the uh, addition to the gleaner that'll keep everybody um, interested in what's going on. If you haven't done so already, please do me a huge favor and like and subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to the Discord. I am working on getting that to be a little bit more busy. I'm uh, also still looking into starting up a multiplayer server. I just uh, brought on a couple more moderators that um, will be able to help with this when possible. Uh, everything that I do is very laid back, so I don't, uh, when it comes to if I do a multiplayer series, I'm not going to require people to play a certain amount of hours or anything all I ask is that people take care of their equipment and they play as so anyway if you guys are uh, thinking about joining a server um, kind of give me a heads up and I'd love to hear it because the more people that I find out that are interested in it I will definitely um, get it started so, but uh, let's get back to the farming part of it Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Today is Saturday that I am recording this. Probably won't go too much longer here. Probably just fill up. Or we'll probably just finish off this field here. So I got the time going again. Let me know your thoughts about the gleaner and the add-on to the farm here. Uh, I think it's a pretty good fit. 
Uh, I know it's a newer piece of equipment. It is the newest one that we do have. Um, I did not put up a big um, silo complex. All I did was I just added one more silo. That's all I did. So it just uh, gives me a little bit more versatility as far as where I can put my crops and everything because I did end up turning the fan on on the wheat just to kind of help take some of the moisture out of it. It will shut itself off automatically when it gets to a certain level. But uh, I have to get some of that wheat out of there because I will be penalized for um, rot and everything. So I have to be very cautious of that. That's all a part of Thundar's mod. I know that um, the advanced add-on. I know that he is uh, working on doing quite a few more things with insects and everything else destroying your crops. So it's amazing that we have all this stuff coming out right before the uh, new game comes out with a huge mod dump. Uh, yeah, well, let's get this field done. Uh, I'm not gonna do another video montage for you. Just gonna go ahead and harvest this crop. I'll jump back in and out, check in with you guys, see how everything is going, kind of keep you guys informed. But I am really loving this combine. But uh, let's get going, guys, and uh, I'll catch up with you here and there. Well, this will be the last pass here. I didn't even fill up uh, both of the grain carts. So, I mean, it still wasn't a bad yield. It's a, it's a small field. Nothing really, it's not big or anything. So, uh, I, I didn't expect a lot out of it. Um, it's just, I was kind of hoping that I'd get a little bit more out of it, but I guess not. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll shut this off here. Uh, separator's empty. Shut that off. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I think that what I'm going to do is next month I'll be able to plant wheat in this field. I'll probably plant some wheat here. I want to... Oh, snap. I ran out of fuel. Yeah. Okay then, well, I guess I better go get some gas. Well, on that note, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call this an episode. Um yeah, thanks thanks a lot for watching. Yep, she ain't gonna let me start it, so I think I can push start it. Uh, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't again, please do like and subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. It does help the uh, channel quite a bit. So Thanks again for watching, guys. The uh, Alma series is not dead yet. So we're just going to keep on going. Uh, we're going to have to head back over to Stone Valley, too. Yep. Anyway, guys, on that embarrassing note of running out of fuel, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.